how to hold on to your mechs uh, when you're priming or painting. Now, uh, the same technique with the glue gun and a, um, the, heat, the heat gun and the glue sticks, you can use that to glue mechs down onto a wine cork and just manipulate the mech with that. Um, I also found an interesting thing was a, um, if you take one of those small ha 500 milliliter uh, small water bottles, if you just cut off the, the head with the, where the cork, where the, uh, where the um, top is uh, and make a little kind of handle with it, you, I, you can glue the mech onto that, that uh, polyethylene cap and you hold on to that the rest of the bottle as your handle that the remains of the bottle you cut off the bottom of the most of the you've cut off 80 percent of the bottle with an exacto blade and you and you recycle it and then you just use that top as a fairly compact handle then for painting you basically don't get paint on your fingers especially when you start painting down near the legs and you inevitably slip or the paintbrush goes all over the place or when you're brushing painting or working on the base and inevitably you'll get it on your fingers and your hands this will keep your hands clean so you don't get as much paint on them um, it also makes it easier to manipulate the model because if you're grabbing it from this large handle you can move the model uh, more carefully or hold it still more carefully because you will end up using both your left hand, assuming you're right-handed, otherwise reverse this, um, you use your left hand to manipulate the model from its handle, because i.e. you will not actually hold on to the model itself or the base of the model, you'll hold on to this handle. And with your right hand, you're gonna use your various brushes and techniques and whatnot. Uh, another alternative is you can buy that Citadel model handle, which actually works really well. It's just another small cost. It's like another $15, $12, whatever they try to, uh, whatever they think they can get out of you in a model store, they'll they kind of overprice it. But it's uh, that, that Games Workshop, Citadel, whatever it is, that, that handle works pretty well. So I started with the, um, um, do-it-yourself handles with corks. Those worked amazingly well for like D&D figures and stuff. And also it works well for plastic mechs. But the heavier metal mechs start becoming a little dicier, especially if it's a larger, heavier mech. If it's like a light heavy mech, like a commando or something, it's not really a problem. But if it's an expensive mech like a Marauder that you may have paid $50 for for the metal mech and it's kind of heavy, you don't want it falling down and breaking, uh, possibly breaking its arms. So you, so I would suggest you just get one of those Citadel handles and then use that. Um, that is good for, um, also, it's not any better than the, the plastic uh, or the cork handles, but because it's not using a glue stick and a glue gun to attach the mech, instead it has a little gripper, that spring-loaded or rubber-loaded gripper, um, it tends to hold pretty well and safely, even for the heavier, like if you're painting an atlas or something, it, you can hold on to it. Whereas when you're painting an atlas, you're kind of afraid it's gonna break off with the glue gun and glue stick. But the glue gun glue stick works really well for light metal mechs or for, um, or for the uh, plastic mechs um, and with a fairly risk-free. Uh, so that should give you the handle for prepping uh, the, the mech for priming or painting, whatever you want to do. Um, you will also keep your fingers cleaner so you don't have to keep brushing them with a nail brush afterwards because often the acrylic paint really gets on your fingers and then you will end up scraping it off after a painting session. Uh, also because in the end you will p end up sitting down many times with a particular mech to paint the different layers and wait for the paint layers to dry. Um, you, you will end up washing your hands a few too many times if you keep getting paint on your fingers and you'll by the end of the day you will have washed your hands with a nail brush many times and that's kind of starts being painful so rather use these model handles uh, or make your own model handles if you want to try it that's uh, the cheapest thing first is just to get the glue stick glue gun and just start gluing them on to your wood the uh, yardsticks and corks 
and plastic bottles, depending on if you're mass priming or individually priming, or if you've started painting base coats and washes and whatnot. Oh, and another thing, when you do washes, the wash will tend to be very liquidy and fluidy, and it will just get over everywhere, and you're, you're not gonna really aim it at anything. So that's really where it's kind of important to have the, um, the handle, because otherwise it will inevitably get on your hand and your finger all over the place, and it'll be kind of annoying to, even it'll be annoying to clean off your fingers after a while. So you do want to use these handles or just break down and buy the Citadel handle. I found one is good enough. You don't need to buy the set of many of them um, because it's so easy to load and unload a mech. Even if you're painting many of them, um, batch painting, says what some people call it, I, I think just one is good enough. And if you're uh, batch painting, um, the other like figures, uh, what I found is you will want to have, if you're patch painting like 10 figures, you will end up using 10 wine corks and 10 glue stick glue jobs to paint all 10 at the same time. But if you're using the handle, you can just use that one handle for all 10, even if you're batch painting. There's enough time that by the time you, you basically also win sort of a waiting factor. If you have pr thinned your paints the way I'm describing it or later, um, by the time you finish painting the 10th mech, the first mech, if assuming you thinned the paint the way I described it, will have dried mostly by the time you're done. And you will only spend a little bit of time taking a small break before you go back or and you can continue. Um, if you don't thin your paint, it'll dry slower and it'll be uglier and covering more detail. So then you will have to wait longer in between coats before you can paint again. And also, the, in the end, the result will look not as nice. So, again, stressing the importance of thinning paint, even though it's kind of a side note here. Um, but you will use these handles over and over again. If you enjoyed this video, please go hit the subscribe button at the... Uh, and that way I'll be motivated to make even more videos.